Hello and welcome back to Sutton on Trent. It seems a really popular village. It does have a doctor's surgery, primary school, it's got the really popular deli at number four. It also has lots of popular walks. You're not far from the River Trent, so uh, it's great to just to take the bikes out, horse riding, uh, nice evening walks, etc. And it also sits within the Tuxford Academy catchment area. The village is perfectly placed with the A1 giving links to the region's major towns and cities and both market towns of Retford and Newark give direct links to Leeds and London's King's Cross. The both of the market towns do have a range of shops, restaurants and bars as well as all your local supermarkets and local tourist attractions include Clumber Park, Sherwood Forest and Rufford Abbey as well as a little bit further away Beaver Castle. So here we are for today's latest property offering. I present to you Eastview Cottage, right on the high street, cracking location. Come have a look round. We are just going to start with um, the outside. So you've got off-road parking here, gated access here. So if you want to close the gates, you can, but you've got car parking here. Um, and then you've got further gated access that leads to a patio area and then a cottage style garden. Come have a look. So you've got a nice stone paved patio area here, which is perfect for entertaining those summer barbecues. Just coming off the living room there, so you've got your, your French doors there opening into your living room. So it's a cracking space for entertaining with friends, family, or if you've got little ones just running around, it's nicely enclosed there because you've got the gate there. And then you've got this nice cottage style garden. Uh, you've got a shed. Obviously the barbecue is there in prime position for those summer months. Now we'll have a look at inside. Come with me. Okay, so let's have a look at the internal accommodation. So you've got a really nice entrance hall here, front aspect cottage style window, parquet flooring. There is a downstairs toilet there as well, so that's really handy if you've got friends, family or little ones. You've got loads of understairs storage there. And then we'll go into the breakfast kitchen. So as you can see, you've got dual aspect windows. You've got one and a half bowl sink unit set into loads of worktops. You've got plenty of cupboards um, for storage, flooring hob extractor hood over there and the oven below, um, plumbing for your washing machine there, nice uh, part tiled walls as well. So you've got a nice little breakfast area here for those less uh, formal occasions so you can get the family, get the kids around there uh, having the breakfast and the dinner and now we'll go have a look at the formal dining room and the living room. Come with me. Okay so you've got your second reception room here uh, used as a formal dining room but again if you want two separate sitting rooms if somebody might like sports somebody might like eastenders you've got that option but it does work well as a formal dining room you've got a gorgeous feature fireplace here it's not a working fire but there's always the option should you want something to be put there and work whether it be a log burner etc and then come through to the living room where you've got a really, really cosy room here for those nice winter evenings that we're experiencing at the moment. You've got a wood burning stove there, uh, window overlooking your garden, French doors going onto that patio that I explained earlier, nice beam ceilings here. Um, so as you can see, it works really well. Nice cosy room for the family for those winter nights in front of the fire. Now we'll have a look at the bedrooms. Okay, so we'll have a look at the bedrooms now and the family bathroom. So we're just going to start with this one. No particular order really, but I'm going to call this bedroom two. Uh, so the guest bedroom, so to speak. So as you can see, it's a really nice size room. They're all very similar in size, actually. So you've got three double bedrooms, nice front aspect window there. Shame it's overlooking my uh, for sale board and my ugly mug, I do apologize. Now we'll go and have a look at the others. Okay, so now we'll have a look at the family bathroom. Um, so as you can see, three-piece suite here. So you've got a P-shaped bath with a shower attachment and a nice rain shower over. A toilet, wash basin, nice towel splashback walls and a heated towel rail there. Um, and a nice little front aspect window. Now we've got the two other bedrooms. 
So we've got a little airing cupboard there housing the oil fire central heating boiler. Bedroom three there, similar size to bedroom two. It's currently used as a study. And then we'll finish the tour in bedroom one. So the main bedroom here. So you've got a good size room. Uh, you do have the option there if you do want fitted wardrobes. So you could potentially put fitted wardrobes in here if that's what you want. And then you've got a nice cottage style window there overlooking the patio area. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed the tour, having a look round Eastview Cottage right on the High Street in Sutton-on-Trent. So just a quick recap, you've got three double bedrooms, you've got two reception rooms and that breakfast kitchen, nice little patio area and a cottage style garden. Please give Alistair a call 07854 862 101. Thank you.